hello guys welcome to the third part of this uh project uh in our last video we added the connection manager for our source uh in in this video we are going to add the connection manager for our destination uh that is the destination of the flat file so here you can see uh for us to actually add a connection manager to a destination we actually need to create a, a destination that is uh, a database and in this project we are using the adventure works uh 2012 the dw 2012 so uh we're actually going to download this and actually uh restore it in our database before coming back to this particular session here so uh here if you see the adventure works sample database uh, i will drop this link in the description don't worry so we're going to restore the database here this particular one here this adventure works dw212 so just hit on this and download it as, as you can see i've uh, downloaded mine got it here so once you do that come back to this place here and uh copy this link this link you are seeing here it's going to navigate you straight to where you're supposed to drop the database because we are restoring it so uh just come to your uh come to any location at all in your system in your window and i just hit this and it's going to navigate you straight to where the database are being kept and uh, here you can see i already have uh adventure works 212 already in my location but i want to bring in a new one that i just downloaded so uh what i will do is I will just change the name of this let me just add extra e to the front i think that won't cause any harm so i'm going to copy it uh, but as, as for you you don't need to do that only already unless you have the database because the database here has already been altered so the tables there are not complete and we need the complete table to use for this project so uh this is one we're using here so it's already in the file in the backup directory now where i can use it to restore the database so if i come back to this place here let's just follow these screenshots here and we don't need to read through all this again with this screenshot you'll be able to achieve that so um here you can see you need to open your ss ssms the microsoft sql server management studio so once you do that uh come to your database here right click on it then you will see restore database it's not new, new database it's restore database so uh hit on that let's hold on for it to come up it will bring up a window in which you're going to select and restore database so the database here we're, we're restoring it from this device so we're going to come here and browse for the database it's actually a file so let's go ahead and add it So uh, this these are all the, all the database here. You can see uh, this is the previous one. This is the one that I changed the title. So I'm going to go ahead and add it, and I'll hit OK. And here you can see it's restoring it. So if I come back to this screenshot here, you can see this is where we are. Everything here is being selected fine. Here they are restoring the 2019 database you may not see it because it's actually a screenshot and it looks very uh tiny from here so uh, i'm going to go ahead and hit okay since everything is fine the database will be restored back on this uh sql server management studio and once it's been restored we can then come back here and add the condition manager for the add a question manager for the destination so why that is being done let's read all of this i think that has successfully added it you can see restored successfully so let's hit ok so uh if i come back here now and load my database that should that should be there i seen it adventure works 212 did you replace the former one I think it didn't take the names 
it just replaced this former one. Well, there is no cause for alarm. If you actually replace the former one the database, then I think we are okay. But we actually imported the right one, right? Yes. So let's just leave that. That has, that has saved us a lot of stress. So um, if you come back here, you can see you see in the add SSI connection manager dialog, select the same way we added the connection the source connection manager. We are going to follow the same way to add the destination connection manager. But in this case, we are, we are, we are going to be configuring it and select, selecting a, a database. So uh, let's come back to our Visual Studio. Let's come to this place again and uh let's right click on it new condition manager here we are adding an oldb it's no more a flat file it's an oldb and i'll hit on add so here you can see i already have so this data base here that i've worked on but if you're not seeing this here come to this new here hit on new and uh, that should bring up another box for you so once you do that they have already uh, outlined everything out for you in this details box here they say in the configuration oldb connection manager dialog select new so you can say reset a new so they say for the server name enter localhost so uh once you enter this local host this is going to assume that the instance of that local of that database is on your system so you see, when you specify a local host as a server name, the connection manager connects to the default instance of the SQL server on the local computer. So once you just enter a local host, it connects to a local instance on your computer. So uh, let me come back here now. So you can see I wanted it to actually load the database on this system, but you couldn't find that. So I'm just going to help it and add this local host here. So you can see it has automatically connected to uh, the local instance on my system. So here you can see I'm using Windows authentication. I don't have password and all that, but if your SQL Server Manager Studio has password, then install this SQL Server authentication. Then you can provide the server name as well as the the password. But here I'm using Windows authentication, so all of these are not necessary. So uh, I'm going to select, select and enter the database name. But let's come back and read the instruction here, so that we we'll just go with them. It's saying the log on to the server group verify that you use win window authentication this is not necessary as i've said if you're using a password then you, you you if you select window authentication it may not work for you so the next step here here in the condition database in the in the connect to a database group in the select or enter database name box type or select this database here so what we're going to do here is uh just select database if i open this this here it has already connected to a local instance on my system so it's going to load and bring up all your database on my on my machine so uh, let me let me go ahead and select that so once that is being selected it says select test connection to verify that the connection uh, the connection settings you have specified are valid so uh so now we're going to test the connection this is look at it here let the connection to see and here you can see test connection succeeded so everything worked perfectly okay so we are clicking ok to close the connection text box and finally uh okay then the last one say in the connection manager pan verify that localhost.adventure works at 2012 is selected so uh let me come back here again sorry so uh let's verify and see localhost dot this dot this is actually selected so we are actually okay so and let's hit okay now so you can see this was the first one we did and here this is this is this had previous one i did and this is the the one we just did now which is up here and let's hit okay and uh there you go we have a a local host connection manager picking up the destination uh the destination source for this uh, particular project that we're building uh for the part of the video that will be all uh you can take a break stretch and also come back for the fourth part and just i've always said if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button share this video to your loved ones 
uh thank you for watching stay blessed see you in the next video